find us at kidsmusicworkshops.com. Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about one of the most important elements of music, and that's pitch. In case you've never heard the word pitch before, that just means how high or how low a sound is. Now, let's try to think of something that is low, that sounds really low. And when you think of something low, like, yeah, right? So let's think maybe thunder would be low, right? That was a really low thunder. And what about if we think of a boat horn? That's really low. Let's listen to this boat horn. See how low that is? And you feel it like right in your chest. It's low. Now, when we think of sounds that are high and high pitched like this, we think of, let's say, some birds singing like these. Or it could also be sometimes you hear somebody whistle or a slide whistle like this one. That's also a really high sound. Now, when it comes to music, we call those sounds notes, depending how high or how low we play something. So on the guitar, like the one I have here, if I want to play a low note, low, we hear that low note. And then at the same time, if we want to play a high note, we can play something like this. High, high. Why don't you try it with me? Let's say low. Now you try it. Good. Now let's try high. High. Now you try it by yourself. Good, that's awesome. So that's a really big part of music, depending on how low and how high we sing something. So now let's play a really fun game where you try to guess if the sounds that you hear are low or high. Remember, low and high. All right, so here we go, ready? Number one. Now what is that sound? Is that low or high? Now that is a low sound, right? It's your heartbeat. And that sounds really dum dum, dum dum, dum dum. So that's low. Let's see if you can guess number two. Right, if you guess high, you're right. It's the birds, right? When birds chirp, they chirp. They chirp really, really high. The really, really pretty sound. Now let's try number three. Can you feel that rumble? Is that low or high? That's actually the sound of the space shuttle taking off. That's a really low, low rumble. So that's a low sound. All right, let's go on to number four. You all know what that sound is, right? The telephone. And that is a high sound, right? It's a high pitched sound. All right, good job. Let's keep going with number five. You feel the rumbling there? Is that low or high? That's right, it's low, it's a ship horn, right? And you really feel that in your chest, especially when you try to do that sound. All right, here we go, number six is our last one. Is that low or high? That is high, you hear the train whistle, right? That's really high pitched. Good job, so those are sounds that are low and high. Now, like we talked about before, now we're gonna play notes that are low and high. So you're gonna hear piano notes, and now you have to tell me whether those notes are low or high. All right, so here we go. Note number one. That is low. Here we go, ready? Number two. Is that low or high? That is high. Good, if you guess high. If not, it's no big deal. You gotta just listen. And each time it'll get easier. It's really, really cool. All right, let's try number three. That is low, just like our first one, right? Good job. Let's try number four. I tricked you there a little bit. That's also low, right? We did two lows in a row. Good job if you're still with me. Let's try number five. That one sounds very different, right? That is high. And I always like to point in the direction, right? That really helps to understand in which direction and what, uh, how high the pitch is. So let's try our last one, number six. Is that low or high? Is that our last one? If you said high, good job. Really good work. 
And that is a really important part of music. You guys did great today. And so now you know the difference between high and low sounds and high and low pitches. So join me next time. We'll be looking at another aspect of music and having a lot of fun. So I'll see you then.